Hello everybody, welcome back to Jockey's Racing Chicken Emporium. We are back, we did it. We had to take a little time off, you know, real life gets in the way sometimes. Had to check these guys out. Yeah, sorry, we had to go, uh, yeah, we had to go handle some things. But we had farmer men looking after... Looking after Xavier and the chickens while we were gone, and everything looks wonderful. What a guy, I tell you. What a neighbor. That guy's awesome. You can depend on him for anything. He's a top-notch guy, I tell you. But, yeah, we got a lot of work to do today. Been gone a long time. Got a lot going on. Uh, Farmer Men was kind enough to, like I say, take care of the farm for us. He also took care of the oats. He harvested the oats in field one and two for us. And put, I believe he put half in our silo and half in his for his horse. So, uh, the other part of the deal, I'm going the wrong way. Been too long since I've been here, I guess. The other part of the deal was we sp uh, split the straw. He needs some for his horse. I need some for Xavier. So, I have the equipment already up here to do it. And he... Had the equipment to do the harvesting, so uh, pretty good deal, I think. I think it worked out good for both of us, so that's what we'll do first. We'll go uh, fulfill our end of the bargain. He's done his part, so I'm trying to get out of here without tearing up as much grass as possible. <laughs> Except for my driving. That part will always tear up some grass. But, yeah, let's run over here, um, see what's going on in the field one and two over here been a long time since we've been up here I sure did miss this mountaintop I really did glad to be back glad to be back we uh did he I don't see any straw uh <laughs> I think he forgot something. Hmm. Yeah, he didn't. Oh boy. Well. I guess we'll just buy some straw for the horses then. Uh, we were gonna bail this up, but. Harvested oats. 38% fertilized with 100% weeds. All right. Well, I guess we will not be bailing straw this morning. Huh. Okay. Anyways, no big deal. We'll just uh, we'll get straw from somewhere else. So, uh, field three is ready here. Field three needs to be plowed and limed. Uh, we have. Oops. <laughs> Back at it, buddy. We have fields four and five over here ready to go as well uh, to be mowed. So I think we will we will knock a quick mowing out on um, field three back there, and I think I'm going to go ahead and plow it. Uh, I never did, never have done it before. I know we said that you know it keeps flipping and the yield's still good, but let's just go ahead and get it back you know 100 percent and go from there let's build off of that and make sure we got everything right to start with so we'll get it plowed get it limed uh, we have enough grass going on over here now and i never can remember where to put this baler always just drive around in circles with it yeah there we go so yeah let's let's start mowing i guess we'll get that done and and get to plowing over there at some point today, we need to take Xavier out and take him for a ride. We might go see Farmer Men, go see what's going on down there. He's, I know a lot's changed down at his end of the mountain, so, um, yeah, we'll go see if we can do that today. Oh, I'm leaving the mowers, they're right there. <laughs> Better take those with us. And, yeah, we'll do that. I was going to say we could probably wind row while we're doing it, but we'll just split the mowers up, take it easy, make another pass, come through here, 
drop uh, front. Here we go. Put that one down right there. And oh, oh yeah, big news. Yeah, one reason I had to hurry up and get back home. <laughs> Farmer Min called me and said that he has been approached about us doing a radio show, podcast kind of deal show. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know what it is, but it sounds really exciting. <laughs> it's uh, called the Bob and Dan Show. I'm super excited about it. That is, that's going to be a lot of fun. I said that uh, somebody wants to give us some money to go on the radio and talk about things. So, hey, we can do that. We talk all the time. We make all kinds of words. You can't hardly get us to shut up sometimes. So, yeah, hey, we'll do it. Sounds right up our alley. I like it. <laughs> Pretty good deal. So we're looking forward to that. Hopefully that'll start soon. I haven't uh, haven't heard the exact schedule of when we're gonna when we're gonna do this or where we're gonna do it or anything. But but I do know it is a thing. So we we got that going for us. That is that is something cool. I can't wait for that. We're gonna have a good time with that. The Bob and Dan Show, talking about who knows what. <laughs> this should be exciting. So let me. Uh, yeah, let me bust some mowing out right here, and we'll get back with you when we are picking it up and getting ready to plow. All right, we got uh, field three is mowed. We have the other side of the road up here where there are, we used to have a shed up there. While we were gone, uh, you can see some things did change around here, uh, like this building right here. This is the one that used to be on the other side of the road at the top of the hill. It wasn't very efficient up there. I didn't like it. Um, and while I was gone, a uh, good friend Ricky White come and, and took that down and moved it down here for us. Built us a nice pad down there and moved everything down so we can mow this whole side up here now. So um, we had been uh, taking everything we mowed off this side and putting it in the silage bunker. So. I think we'll continue that. We did make a a batch of silage and sold it to a local guy here in town. So um, maybe this batch, maybe Farmer Men will be interested in. We'll see if we can talk him into buying some loose silage. I know he has quite a few head of cattle down there. He's going to need some. So um, somebody certainly will will take it off our hands for us. Um, we'll sell, like I say, most of it, most of what we do is, is silage bales just because they're easy to handle and we're, we're pretty fast at making them. So a little quicker than putting the silage in the bunker and compacting it and covering it and waiting for it to ferment and, you know, all that stuff takes time. So we'll, we'll do that for, for the guys we know, make the good stuff, but, uh, bales is is where we're we're hanging our hat right now get them made get them sold let's get some more made just as simple as that keep flipping them how about that so yeah i'm going to let's see we'll get this we'll go ahead and fill this one up and then we'll take it back uh, dump it out start a new pile in the bunker down there one of our favorite things to do uh, I do love the way that silage compacts in FS19. It is, well, it's quite bumpy up there. We're, we're going to end up tearing something up up there. Uh, but, no, like I was saying, silage, it compacts so easy in 19. Uh, just a couple trips back and forth in the bunker and, and you're ready to go. Whereas in 17, man, you could, you could spend 20 minutes in a bunker trying to compact it. Um... Uh oh, I always catch the corner. I even tried to get over this time. I swear it looks like he made it, but I always catch that thing. We're gonna we're gonna have to move that thing. Or I guess we could stop just stop driving through there. That doesn't seem right though, does it? That doesn't sound right. Alright, get this spread out a little bit, try to stay off to one side. Didn't do a very good job of that, but it'll be alright once we get it compacted. 
All right, look at that. 28%. Make one trip down through the oops, run into the wall already at 42%. It is just so quick. Love it. A couple passes and it is good to go. 73, 90, picking up this side of the road and we will go ahead and bail field number three see if we can get it wrapped uh, we don't have any straw to bail today for some reason I won't mention any names but <laughs> our uh, our partner in crime down at the bottom of the mountain down there mr. Dan he left us hanging on the straw so we'll, we could go buy some bales I guess today one thing we could do we, we do have eight bales for the horse and it's only it's only Xavier so he can't use that much straw I guess right now so we'll be fine for now but it was free straw he gave away there just dumped it out on the ground so uh, we do need to I guess since that field's empty now we go ahead and get it cultivated uh, get a worker hired maybe um, see if uh, See if David Gordon's busy down at the bottom of the hill. He usually helps out farmer men, but maybe we could get him to help us sow one and two. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. So let me do this. Take uh, looks like it'll probably be only one more load or so down to the bunker, and then we will jump over to field three. We'll be right back. All right, we got everything wind road. Uh, time to get some baling done. We got 46,000 liters of loose silage put up in the bunker also. So, getting getting some work done. First day back. Getting back in the swing of things. We're going to drive down through this windrow without turning the baler on though. Like a true professional does. <laughs> but, here we go. Let's try it this way. I bet it makes a lot more bales. <laughs> we, um, so, I've been thinking... We've uh, made quite a few payments to our good buddy Jeff, and he said that his bosses were happy with him and liked the deals he was making, and he was going to give us a little more credit. So, much to his surprise and everybody else's, we're going to take it, right? So, uh, what we're going to do is we watch men come up and harvest the, the oats out of fields one and two here. And I realized that looked like a whole lot of fun. He's got more toys than we got, so I don't like that. So, we're going to, since we're going to plow field three anyways, let's use it as arable land. We'll do one and two there plowed together, and we'll do three here, and uh, rotate some crops through over here, make some money that way. We have the grass fields over there, four and five, and now we have the top side of the road over there, and we also have this stretch of the road over here on the other side of the road, so... We have quite a bit of grassland now. I don't think we need all of three to go with it. We'll have as many silage bales as we need, I think. Um, you know, without worrying about crashing the game again. We don't need to make 200 at a time, so... Um, yeah, I think that's that's our plan. We're going to go talk to Big Papa C and see what kind of deal he can make us. Since we're going to get a harvester, we're going to stick with our theme here we got a green farm we're gonna keep it a green farm I hope uh, see if he can find us a good deal something to work with that um, won't break the bank either uh, <laughs> break Jeff I should say we don't want to do that keep him uh, keep him happy too so yeah I'm pretty excited about that we're gonna plow this up uh, like I say we're gonna do it anyway so may as well um, turn it into an arable field and and start planting some other crops in here, something besides grass. We can uh, branch out a little bit. We've made quite a few silage bales here on this farm, so um, we made quite a bit of money off of them, don't get me wrong. They're a very, very profitable industry, so yeah, I think we'll maybe start splitting it up a little bit. Do do half of the silage and 
and have, uh, you know, some green crops. So, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Well, I hope it's a good idea because that's the one we're going with. It's going to at least be fun and we get to play with more toys. So, that's a pretty good, pretty good thing, I guess. So, yeah. Let me bail this a little bit more and we'll run down to the store and talk to Big Papa C. See what's going on down there. See what he can come up with. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Got one of our new toys anyway. Big Papa had it ready for us. We got us a T560 John Deere as you can see. Looking sharp. I think that says a 560i. T560i. I stands for impressive. That's what it stands for. That's quite a machine here. Unfortunately, we couldn't get our header trailer that we purchased to hook up. Uh, it'll hook up, but it, it put both the machine and the trailer in a terrible bind. Uh, would have torn something up by the time we got it to the top of the mountain. So we'll uh, we'll either see about trading that model in, or maybe we can get uh, get one of the guys in Big Papa's shop to you know just put a longer drawbar on the the front there, and should be ready to go. Uh, shouldn't shouldn't be too much modifications needed so yeah we'll either we'll either get that one fixed up where we can use it with this harvester or uh, we'll get another one but for right now we'll just drive this up the top um, hopefully not tear it up before we get up there keep it looking nice and pretty and we'll get to the top and jump in one of our other rides and go get the header not that we you know not that we need it right away we haven't even planted anything yet but it is nice you buy some new toys you want to get them home and so you can admire them you know put them put them out there in uh, your new shed and have your new toys and everything is is right in the world so that's what we're gonna do we will um, I guess after that we will start wrapping some bales and selling them I've purposely left uh, about half of the grass to be mowed and about half of what we did mow I've left windrowed and not bailed um very very cognizant of the fact that uh we've had a save game problem on here before and had to restart so uh trying to do my part to to not cause any issues like that so uh you know when we get the silage bills sold we'll get them sold we don't need to do them all at one time and and be right up against the limit so uh i think that's something we'll try to you know Try to take it easy on putting too much stress on this uh, multiplayer game. So, probably a little easier in single player. Um, a little less demanding on both the servers and the, the game engine itself. So, I'm sure something just went wrong in, in the, the save game file somewhere. Is why I couldn't connect anymore to him. But, uh, hopefully we can avoid that this time. <laughs> it sure is good to be back. Uh, having a good time. I was up here earlier going through a menu and as soon as I got out of the menu I saw farmer men ride by on horse with no name so <laughs> it was nice to be back nice to be uh, you know back amongst friends so yeah I got it up here look I didn't wreck I didn't run it up on the guardrail or anything how about that uh, I don't know what to do with myself I'm uh, gonna break my arm pat myself on the back here but We'll get this thing over, get it parked somewhere. Don't know where we're going to put it. It's kind of big, isn't it? Um, yeah. And run down and grab the header. And get some get some bales wrapped up. Get them sold. But, as you can see, we got that. Most of that anyways. Close enough. We got all of this left to mow. Um, well, we did mow part of this right here to go along with field three so just over half half of the mowing left to do we got quite a bit of mowing left but like i say it seems to to make everything just a little bit laggier up here when we start doing that so we'll take it easy kind of do one thing at a time we'll get field three done wrapped ba uh bailed wrapped and sold and we'll probably go ahead and plow it um just to get get the grass out of there you know one less thing that'll be in that field it'll just register as dirt so that'll probably make it a little easier on everything too so 
Yeah, I think that's the plan. I think think we're we're on top of things and happy to be home. So uh, let's see. So there we go. We got that one up and parked. I think that's a good place to call it. Uh, like I say, we'll just run back down the mountain, grab the header and trailer, run it up. Nothing exciting there. <laughs> Look at this guy. Never mind. <laughs> oh, man, what a good neighbor. I take it back. That's awesome. So, we can, uh, we can get back to work now. I'll tell you what, it's only 8.30 in the morning. And I got this guy up here. I got a whole pile of eggs over there. I got racing chicken eggs. And I bet you he's got some bacon in there. I'm going to go in there and make this guy breakfast for bringing our trailer up. That's uh, that's one heck of a guy right there. So, before he runs off... Oh, goodness. Watch out. <laughs> Let me go catch him. Let me fix him some breakfast. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, we're happy to be back here at the uh, Racing Chicken Emporium. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's a lot more fun up here on top of the mountain. So, yeah. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day. <laughs>